Hi, as requested, this is a video about how you uh, check your images and game assets uh, and other visual material for colour blindness accessibility using Adobe Illustrator. So open up your image in Illustrator um, and go to this menu, the view menu, and you're going to check proof colours here. Now, mine's changed immediately. Yours might not do that. If it doesn't change immediately, you need to go to your proof check up, proof setup and change it from working CMYK, which is the default, to one of the two red green color blindness types. Protonopia is where the red cones are impaired and deuteropia is where the green cones are impaired. So these two are both red green color blindness. Uh, Illustrator doesn't offer you the option for chitinopia or monochrome type colour blindness. Those conditions are extremely rare, but if you do want to double check those as well, then if you Google, you can find websites which you can upload an image to and it will give you a, an estimation of what people with the other types might see. Um, so I'm just going to choose protonopia. And you can see straight away my image has changed to an approximation of what somebody with protonopia might see. You can see they are fairly distinct here, our colours. Um, if you are finding that your assets are not distinct enough when you apply this proofing, then the trick to getting them to be accessible for people with colour blindness is to change the black value. Changing the hue, um, it's a bit of a trial and error process and it may not work very quickly. So, But if you can change the black value, that's what gives you these quite distinct shades of yellow and blue. Um, so that's how to fix that. Just to just to demonstrate, I'll just show you the deuteropia type. Uh, there you go. And if you want to turn it off, all you have to do is uncheck proof colours and you go back to your original image. OK, I hope this helps. Thank you very much. Bye.